Hi, in this video we're going to look at the Sunburst chart, new in Excel 2016. So what does the Sunburst chart show you? What is it useful for? Well, it's for hierarchical data. Each level in the hierarchy of your data is displayed as a separate ring within the chart. The top level data within your hierarchy is displayed in the inner ring and then the lower levels are displayed as outer rings. So in our data, our top level data is the store names Brighton and Hull. And as we're looking at sales, we then want to break the sales down into different product types. So for Brighton, we have software and hardware. For Hull, we have kitchen and garden. We can then break down the products into product categories. So for Brighton software, we have office, games and hobby. For Hull kitchen, we have bakeware and storage. And from the chart, from the size of the different segments within the rings, you can see the proportion of sales achieved by each store and then each by each product. So let's look at how to set up and create a Sunburst chart. The tricky bit is going to be setting out the data properly. The data has got to be represented in a hierarchical format. So here's an example. It's a fairly simple example, but it does explain the point. So what I'm doing is I'm starting in the first column, which is the top level of my hierarchy with my two branches. Now notice I haven't written down the branches in each of the rows. I only need to write it once. So then in the second column, I have the uh, second level of my hierarchy and I've expressed the product. So I've written the first product software there and then hardware down here. Now, the reason I've left a gap there is because I have subcategories for my software. So those have been written in separate rows, office, games and hobby. Office, the first one can be on the same line as the branch and the software, but additional ones just exist on separate rows. Hardware, I have written any subcategories for, so I can just leave that cell blank and it won't create any outer outer rings for the hardware because I haven't put any values in there. Hull, uh, as you can see, I have two products. Kitchen has two subcategories. And again, what I've done is the first subcategory I've put on the same line as Hull and Kitchen, but the second category I've put on its own line. Garden doesn't have any subcategories, so I've left that cell blank. So that's how you would set out your data. So let's create the sunburst chart. So I'm just going to click into the data. I don't need to select it all. I'm going to go up to the insert tab on my ribbon. And then I'm going to the hierarchical insert hierarchy chart button in the charts group. I'm going to click on that button and I'm going down to sunburst chart here. Now it does all of the work for you really but there's a few little formatting options that you might want to put into place. The first thing you're probably going to notice is that there isn't really enough space for the labels within these little segments within these rings. So one way of getting around that is obviously to make the chart a little bit bigger, which then shows the labels quite clearly. You could always decrease the size of the labels. So if I click on one of the labels, it selects all of them. You can see they're all selected. And then I can go to the home tab on my ribbon and decrease the font size with this button up here. That may, if you do have some really kind of uh, long labels, that may solve uh, that problem for you. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can change the design format of your uh, sunburst chart. If you go to the design tab on your ribbon, you'll see there's loads of different formats here that you can apply quickly to your sunburst chart. And the other way of achieving that is to use this little paintbrush button, 
which will only appear when you have the chart selected. But if I go to that, you get the same kind of options. You can apply those and it applies a brand new design to your chart. OK, so that's our introduction to the Sunburst chart available in Excel 2016. Hopefully you can think of some uses for it and that's been a helpful tutorial.